Jen, do you have any other questions or, or things you want to know about this or anything that stood out to you? Um, uh, <laughs> it's all right. I love that Boaz wanted to protect her, protect um, Ruth's, I guess, reputation mm -hmm. by saying no one must know she came to the threshing floor. Yeah. Yeah, no one, no one needs to know she came to the party. No one needs to know she was laying there at my feet. It's not time for anyone to know. Yeah, go ahead. He, he really wanted to protect her uh, her reputation, I guess. I don't know how else to say that. Um, and also, he, um, he seemed very upstanding. Like, he wanted to go by the customs, you know, wanted to follow the rules and give this other person that opportunity. Although it, he did seem interested, and mm -hmm. he was very, he seemed very enamored with her. Sure. Um, it could have gone a whole different way. Yeah, absolutely. And it didn't. Absolutely. And uh, he seemed so far very gentle with her, um, meaning that he's concerned about, mm -hmm. you know, her being fed, her, you know he knows that she'll have to go back to her mother-in-law. Like that's part of the deal. So yeah. he, um, he tells her how, how courageous she is. Mm -hmm. He tells her, you know, she's a prize and that, um, I wonder if he, I mean, who knows why he told her that other than she is, but also, so she, maybe she didn't feel rejected. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about what's standing out to you right now mm -hmm. is that as men, we're told we're supposed to protect um, our women, we're supposed to protect our wife, and so often we as men hear that and we think, okay, I'm supposed to use my physical strength, which I have, because that's how I'm going to protect my wife. I'm supposed to protect her physically. And we don't understand what you're telling us right now, which is what you get from this story. Boaz is protecting Ruth emotionally. Boaz is protecting her reputation. Bo Boaz is protecting how she's going to be seen in the community so that she can have right relationships with everyone in the community, which is what's important to women. And so we as men here, you're supposed to protect your wife, and we just go, okay, I'm going to be big and strong and physically protect her. No, 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 no. There's so much more to it than that. Yeah, there might be times when you need to protect your wife, you know, um, you're walking down the street, she's paying attention to 17 different things and doesn't realize she's about to get run over by some person or car or whatever. Not that that ever happens. Yes, it does. Um, but more important to her than that, when, when you want your wife to really feel loved, you're going to go out and protect her reputation and protect how the people around her see her. Is that ringing true to your heart? How does that make you feel, Jennifer? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it is absolutely true. It's not just the physical part. Um, it's, you know, um, how a woman is viewed by her community is, is important. And um, because women rely so much on the relational aspect of, of life, um, when when that's damaged, it it isolates her. Mm -hmm. um, Oof. Oof. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Because I know that as, as men, we want to show off our wives. We want our wives to feel comfortable going out into the community. Right. But we don't think about how her reputation affects her willingness to go out into the community. Yeah, it, it can feel very isolating. Mm -hmm. Um which then puts, I mean, looking further down the road, then puts a whole other burden on the husband because if she can't feel comfortable in the relationships in the community, then she'll have no choice but to rely on her husband to meet those needs. Oh, and no one single human being can exactly. fill all of those needs. And so then that puts an undue burden on him and then he's frustrated with why can't she go to the community, not realizing that he didn't protect her, her emotionally, her reputation, her emotionally with the community. And, and now there's this huge conundrum. Mm -hmm. And so all of that marital stress comes from not him not recognizing that he needs to protect her reputation and her not being able to explain to him 
how much that matters and just this this yeah this misunderstanding between the genders um wow that's so huge and it's heartbreaking i think of friends i have who you know actually i just think not not of friends i have i think of men particularly who say horrible things about their wives to the pub in public or to their friends and buddy they're just complaining about their wives and not only do they not recognize hey you're telling people you're dumb because you chose this woman and now you're so upset with her but they're also destroying any opportunity she has to be comfortable going out into the world and relating to people it's it's the same thing as when a man is emotional in front of his woman and then she goes out and tells all of her friends oh yeah he cried about this and then his buddies are making fun of him you know on the golf course or wherever and he's just lost all respect from his community and so there's so many ways that we as human beings can absolutely destroy relationships for each other and how much of it are things that we don't think about and we're not aware of we don't you know part of the purpose of the church is to make us think about these things so that we'll actually treat each other better and it's not just ethics it's actually being in aligned with who god is so that we'll do this um because it is so easy to get hurt or upset or angry or uh just feel grief that my spouse is doing this thing to me but not be willing to confront them in love and say hey when this kind of things happen, when you do this, it makes me feel this, which causes me to want to do these things. This is, this is the effect of your actions. Oh, so, yeah. I was gonna say this out loud so I can understand my own thought process, but okay, so let's just say, I'll just put us in this scenario. Sure. So let's just say that, uh, let's let's use a husband and a wife okay. that way it's so, not personal all right so the husband uh goes to his two buddies mm -hmm. his two best buddies and he's just complaining 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 about his wife yep okay so then time passes mm -hmm. and um the couple the married couple gets invited to the buddy and their partners barbecue uh -huh. whatever yep. parties or whatever the wife doesn't want to go mm -hmm. and the husband doesn't know why uh-huh keep going um she and the best she can do is say she just doesn't feel comfortable right um or she goes and she's timid and doesn't really talk to anybody mm -hmm. and then she seems antisocial. Ooh. Mm -hmm. um which can then feed these men that he's complained to firing up that conversation again because they see that she's not participating. Yep. yep. And then the wife seems totally antisocial because she won't engage with these other women. Mm -hmm. And so then they're put off because she won't engage with them. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how it, that's how it all breaks down. And so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, yes. this catch 22 of you're doing the wrong thing it leads to a uh, more misunderstanding that corroborates that wrong thing, which then leads to continuing doing that yes. wrong thing. And then the woman becomes bitter because she doesn't even want the husband, the wife becomes bitter because every time now the husband wants to go hang out with these buddies, which in a healthy marriage would be like, great, go have time with your buddies. She's bitter and angry and probably sad. She's heartbroken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want anything to do with that. And she doesn't want him to have anything to do with them either. Right. And so he just says, oh, you just don't want me to have any friends. Or you just don't want me to, you know, yeah. You right. just don't want me to live my life. You just want me to be stuck here with you. Right. But that's not true. The truth is she feels isolated and she feels like her husband is the only person she has left. Yeah. And it's heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. And yes, my love, that's a excellent breakdown of that whole situation. And it, it is heartbreaking and it's scary and it's painful for everybody involved. And it's part of why these stories are so helpful to us because we don't think about these things until 
we actually have to read these stories and hear this kind of breakdown. I would have never, as a man, pulled out what you pulled out of this particular aspect of this story. You brought out the reputation. You brought out, I actually did have written down that Ruth has a reputation for courage, but what it makes, what it says to me is that's what makes her desirable as a woman. She has this courage. She has this willingness to keep her word even when it's going to cost her everything. And isn't that who we all want to be around and be with? Are the people who keep their word even when it causes 